Hello guys, this is Azim Sheikh from Skysoft Tech and today we are going to take a look on some of the games that you should give a try. These games are based on their simplicity but fun to have to kill some time. Links for the games will be in the description below. So let's not further ado and start the video. First we have a game called Car Driver. It's a parking sort of game where you have to park your car eliminating the obstacles. The gameplay is good, graphics are good. There is no lag on whatsoever you'll see while playing the game. All the controls of the car in the game is quite well put together. You'll not see any lag while playing using these controls. The game has tons and tons of level to clear. There are 6 to 7 cars which has their collection of levels so it's quite a big game to clear. But if you are a sort of car parking game lover, in my opinion it's worth giving a try. Next up we have a game called Block. It's a simple but yet an interesting game to give a try. It's basically a game in which you need to hop your object from one tower to another. Sounds easy, but it really needs some serious concentration to hop between the pillars. Each time you'll clear a pillar, the width of the next pillar shrinks a bit which makes it really difficult to make a judgement for hopping between them. And you'd also have to collect the diamonds in the air. And the object you are using to hop is not an object, it's actually a box type creature which actually stands on his feet sometimes in the game. This type of little attention to detail and the smoother gameplay actually gives this game a unique place in your collection library of games. It also has lots of level to clear and some special gems to collect which gives you a lot of ability to clear these obstacles. Next we have a game called Stack. It's a game which actually uses your hand-eye coordination to create a building of blocks one upon another. The block moves from left to right and as you'll tap the block, it sits on one another. You need to place the block exactly one on another if you miss. The part in the air actually cuts off which makes it so much interesting and makes you mad type of game. The gameplay is good and you can also play it on not so demanding hardware and it will work absolutely fine without any lag. Next we have a game called Missile. It's a simple air combat game which is fun to play. You had to control the plane while the missiles will try to hunt you down. The more times you'll be in the air, the more number of missiles will try to shoot you down. Controls are great and once you start playing it, it becomes really an addictive game and you'll enjoy it. Last we have a game called Dragon Hill 2. It's an upgrade over the Dragon Hill with lots of new stuff. The rules are simple, just protect your dragon from the zombie who tries to kill you and your dragon. Controls are simple, game works absolutely fine, graphics are good, the gameplay and the sound of the game doesn't lag at any time. It works absolutely fine and you have different levels and weapons to kill zombies and it should definitely give a try. Thanks for watching this video guys, this is Azim Sheikh from Skysoft Tech. Hope you liked the video, share it and subscribe to the channel for more such video in future. Thanks for watching this video guys, see you until next time.